Hey guys, and welcome back to the Invincible. My name is Twitchy, playing the role of Yasna, Commonwealth Astrobiologist, and we find ourselves on Condor. That's right, the flagship of the Alliance. It's been very scary. I've walked around Medical Bay, found myself a, a key card to the bridge, and I think I think this might be the way. I have a friend on board. I mean, friend in big wide quotation marks. Rohitra, member of the Alliance. Unfortunately, memory issues got got taken out by the flies. You know, let's put this. Card Wow, that was some pretty good clipping there. Let's put that there. We're going to bridge level one, I think, maybe. Uh, I'm, we're not able to press any other buttons, so we did it. I did make it. Thank you. Thank you, Rohitra. Yes. I, Are you deliberately trying to slow me down? He's trying to kill me. I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but... <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Lately, Rohitra doesn't want me in the bridge, but that's kind of understandable because he's part of, you know, the other crew. Uh, and you don't invite the bad guys onto the bridge of your... I'm ready to activate. Spherical thrower. Anti-protons. Yo, Rohitra. Rohitra! What are you here. doing? Hello. Well, you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here. But I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. What are you, are you doing? Not? No, Come I don't yet. think... It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. I need to contact the commander? No. You're on your own. I'm gonna call my commander. Fine, suit yourself. Just don't disturb me. I mean, I don't really plan to. Use the, the radio to contact Novak. This guy I is gonna get us in find... trouble. You can handle it. I can handle it. It's true. I really can. There's going to be a radio. No, that's not. Whoa! That button looks a bit suspicious. Uh, there, there's going to be a radio around somewhere. I'm definitely going to end up pressing that button by the end of the day. It had two new. Dude. Did you just like fall over and give up? Okay. Uh, there's, there's like two nuke buttons over there. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary. This looks like it might be a radio station. No. Oh, oh, here we go. Hello. I would like to call my commanding officer, please. Hello. Uh, is that the thing I want to use? Uh, we're going for D4. Okay. B. D? Is that D? Okay, yeah, that that's good. And then over here, if I can press the button, if we can. Two... Three. This is controls are a bit weird. Rohitra has started the attack. It's this me. has gone crazy. I'm reporting from the bridge. Oh yes, no. let him know. They're gonna fight soon. Already? It's scary. Yes, already. Couldn't you? No, Astrogator. Believe me, I yeah. haven't encountered such a stubborn individual in a very long time, if ever. May I suggest you? You can suggest anything you want, mate. I don't know if it's going to happen. Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Time not to. Oh, what a fucking mess. Absolute mess. Destruction all around. Check on him. What is he doing? Copy that. Contact. I'll let you know, Novak. When I can, I will let you know. All right, well, I did the radio first, like I was uh, instructed to do so. Um, let's go. Ugh, can I grab a coffee? Maybe a cigarette? That would be pretty good at this time of day. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Uh, okay, so we've got the controls over here. Uh, look, you see that little um, pop up there? Oh, it's Novak. It, not Novak. What's his name? Rohitra. Oi, buddy. Rohitra? You asleep? What's going on? Is he, is he falling asleep? Don't understand. It's not working, is it, mate? It was going so well. It's not working. It over now? You're going after a you cloud. Know, it got so many of them. It's gone completely mad. Now it's wandering around aimlessly. Sounds familiar. Okay, so there, there is the. I thought all this was the cloud. Okay, there is a cloud over there. Enraged. How? How do you know they're enraged? Listen, I connected with my astrogator. We need to talk about what's next. What is happening next? Leave it like this. I guarantee you. Rahitra, your men are on their way here. On the Invincible. Do you I want them to do this before? before? The same? Turns out it was true all along. Uh. They're flying here. Do you hear me? We'll sort everything out. So, Horpak is flying here with company? What an honor. And when will they arrive, my man? A few days? Uh, yeah, up to a few days. We anticipate they'll arrive in a few days. 
days. That's a lot of time for me. I realize. We'll come back to that. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure Let it out. Let me go back to the radio. I'll return soon. Did a whole loop around. I, I didn't see anything particularly scary. Okay, so we need to go talk to the commander again. Am I literally just walking from one side? Yeah, they're they're on like opposite sides of the uh, of the the bridge here from each other. That's fine. Let's talk. We'll talk to Novak again. See what he's got to say. Anything? Hello. The fight is over. Is it though? The major's bringing increased activity from the cloud. Yes. A complete fiasco. This was to be expected. Is it? You didn't expect the attack to succeed, did you? When yeah, it is devastating. You had seen Mahitra. It was like all the energy had drained out of him. He believed in technology and it failed him. Until he falls asleep. I guess so. Do you think he's finally ready to talk? No. To talk to him. I don't think he is. Let's let's go have a chat. Let's flick okay, this on. Okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Good luck. I I don't think he's trustworthy. This is Astrogator Novik, commander yeah, him. of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. Speak to him. <laughs> Could you stop with all this? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak. Uh -huh. Which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. But so you're far, not. however, your crew has not been cooperative. Anyway, we stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Yeah. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes yeah. is the right tool. I think he's thinking Meaning the cloud's thinking the same as you. Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity. Its technological prowess is still unknown. No idea, mate. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still Is that this nice button? Please, just tell me straight. This button. What do you want? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, cluster munitions, hydrogen. What? Rahitra? Are you serious? Damn right. You can't be using a nuke on these. Resolved. How many warheads do you have? Fifty-four. <laughs> 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Whoa, okay. Can I go somewhere else? We really do have enough power. Do we? That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. I don't think and they're going to do anything. We'll Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? Look at it! Listen, Yasna. No! I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. Yeah. Put yourself in my this is exactly what that looks like. Two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I mean, kind of, but... You understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. I'd like to go and avenge them. We won't save anyone by taking revenge. Revenge or not, the cloud threatens. I understand, yes. Although it's hard to talk about revenge here. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Probably. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... The Screaming at the wind. Sure. Exactly. Like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization. Not vengeance. After yeah. all, nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis 3. Especially if we if leave. continue to evolve. 
Wait a minute, Doctor. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years, even. Considering the evolutionary timeline... But the universe is billions However, of years old. They could threaten humanity much sooner, by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. Let's not overreact. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. Yeah. No, Novik. It's not a meteor, or an ocean, or a storm. They don't hunt, or degrade, or cripple you mentally. You and Hitler are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Just a natural force. <laughs> Good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? You walked into I fire. I will never forget, Hitler. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? Yes. That's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Uh, their machines aren't consciously hostile. Yes. They're enemies if you don't know. You're as thick as a brick. These machines aren't consciously hostile. They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react. I don't know about program, but go for it. Waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. Why? So, they see no difference between a man and a machine? Exactly. They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Yeah. Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. The list is very long. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang Very on. long. Creators? Yeah, you yes. know, those plants. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. Must, must they? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. These are no fables. <laughs> it's happening around us, man. Answers. How did these machines even get here? That one we don't know. Probably some alien race, highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis Three. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense. Essentially. Machines don't have emotion. They don't argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis Three, and these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves, or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. The flies. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living world. Why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. In short, that's how we'll... I'm going to go with in detail and betting on a crisis. What's a guiding principle of a homeostat? Uh, I don't... Uh, that was a rhetorical question. You're an it's engineer, not a biologist. It's changing conditions, even the harshest ones. The further forms of necroevolution were no longer threatened by the local fauna, but they had to find sources of energy and materials from which they could produce replacement parts and offspring. Originally, their descendants were undoubtedly powered by radiant radiation. But on Regis, there were no radioactive elements I at know. all. Uh -huh. Sounds familiar. When the energy runs out, you have to wheel and deal. Yes, the default source wasn't available anywhere. So they had to look for an alternative. There was a severe energy crisis and, and a conflict among the machines. Simply put, they fought to survive. Exist. That's what evolution is all about. It really about is. selection. Wait, Doctor. We've established that these beings are mindless. Reactionary rather than mindless. Shouldn't the organisms with the most developed nervous systems win the game of evolution? Not necessarily. In this case, instead of a nervous system, 
there was some kind of electrical one. But the principle remains the same. I'm not sure, uh, to no, be exactly, honest. Exactly, sir. The most advanced of the mechanisms that landed here derived energy from their own radioactive resources. Simpler devices such as small repair systems could have had solar panels. And in that case, would have had a significant advantage over the others. But the other ones could defend themselves. They could attack. With atomic power. Yes, that's possible. But I see it differently. In necroevolution, the most successful beings were those that excelled in miniaturization above all else. Also, the sedentary creations. The, the former plants. gave rise to the clown, which the flies form when necessary in pursuit of a common interest. Meanwhile, the sedentary ones gave rise to a peculiar species of metallic vegetation. Those structures formed the city. So, it's still functional? No. No. For some reason, the city lost a fight for survival. And now, there are only rusting remains. Only one form survived. The microbots that conquered the land on Regis 3. So, these flies just adapted best? Of course. To the conditions of this planet. Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize. Yeah, come on, some tell me Some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis 3. Yep. Local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them. Yeah. So robots produced other robots, which produced more, and more robots. Yep. Until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Put it simply. Quite a bit. Matter is perfectly clear. Makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, do you agree? Oh, I, well, I do. I fully agree we shouldn't attack. No, we have to attack until we succeed. There's a chance of success, but it's more. I fully agree we should not attack. I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Ritra. What Unless nests? Unless we want to destroy the entire planet. It's impossible to eliminate them. Like what nests? And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. Quick, drop them into the sun. But what else can we do if not attack? Wait for the invincible, evacuate from here. We can leave this place and never come back. How so? Your commander will swoop down from orbit and pick us up? We're or in a ship. ship up your sleeve? What's this? I'm afraid none of these. I was thinking about a saucer, or some other vehicle from the Condor. Yeah. Don't count on it, Yasta. It's a miracle we arrived on that wreck of a saucer. Do you not have Nothing another? Nothing else flies around here, I checked. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. We're here, Trevor. For fuck's sake, be reasonable. Yeah, just listen to us, man. What's you going on? Don't stand down, will you? Can, can I get off the planet? The solution won't work. Only needlessly draw the cloud's attention. And I won't have you endanger my support. Oh, good one. I wasn't the one who sent her to the surface of this shithole of a planet. It's a good point. Yes, yes I admit. We've all made mistakes. Oh, I'm gonna do it. It's too much trust in I want to listen to that. Sensors in our, our protective fields. Now we'll too much to, uh, trust in our technology. We must be aware that we are facing a problem that renders our ambitions irrelevant. Doing it. Yeah, and he's down. He's unconscious. I doubt with it. Don't worry. He won't answer you, sir. Not anymore. Not gonna let it happen. Did you neutralize him? Yeah. I put him to sleep. It's kind of. It's cruel, I know. He will forget everything. All over again. Oh, we best no, tie him up. No, did the right thing. He wasn't listening to reason. Uh, he would have blown everything up. Most I will contact the invincible. He actually saved his life. I'll send a message to the Invincible. A short report on the status of the crew and on our discoveries. Yeah, let them know. Also introduce yourself as a member of the Commonwealth. It's better not to hide it. It'll only arouse suspicion. I'm all about it. Yes, that's what I'll do. So, all we can do now is... Yes, indeed, Doctor. Yes, sir. Yeah. It was truly an honor. Yeah, and to you, sir. Um... <sighs> then, a hard time finding the right words. I have one last request. Tell him what I did. I'd like Kovalin Krauter to remember me. 
Even just from your stories? Of course. I'll let everyone know what you did for them. No, no. I, I don't care about gratitude. I just want them to know who I was. I am. Right. I will try to do justice in capturing your extraordinary character. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It's not an easy assignment. <laughs> As always. I'm not making anything easier for you, Novik. <laughs> As always, yes, sir. Have a safe journey. What Thank am I planning to do now? Uh, take care. Over and out. So if he, is he just leaving? Am I just waiting? I, I, I don't get it. Here we go. Alliance ship. Hello. Finally, Finally they're here. Is the, where's the invincible? Somewhere? Can I walk? I can't, I can't walk. I'm stood up, though. Oh, here they are. Oh, look at it. It's huge. It's them. They're switching through the channels. Quick. We've got to let them know. I don't know if that's a smart idea, mate, but okay. One, two, and then... Ah, why can't I click this? For me. Hello, Invincible. Hello, Invincible. It's Condor here. Oh, Condor, we hear you. I can find it. We picked up your coordinates yesterday with a message from a member of the Interplanetary Commonwealth. Invincible, I confirm. This is Dr. Yasna, the IC member. Dr. Yasna, nice to meet you. My name is Roa. Is it your message that we received? Probably. In that case, I'd like a confirmation. Are How? Are the crew still unconscious? Hey, you. I confirm. You. What have you done? Oh, man. Rohitra woke up and now he's going to shoot me. What? What crazy. And that... Oh man, that's the end of the story. We got ourselves a little little um, achievement there and everything. I think it's going to be all right. We can talk Rohitra down. We can get on board the Invincible. We can leave. It's fine. It's all good. Look at all these beautiful people that spent, I assume, years of their life working on this beautiful game. Uh, it was an amazing game. I really, really enjoyed it. It was, a, I've got to admit, a little bit slow in its pacing, but the actual concepts, the story, the the, the what we what we just walked through, amazing. I also hear there are many different endings to this game which unfortunately you're gonna have to go and find out all on your own because that's that's the ending i played through let me know what it is that you find uh out there in the wilds of space as always we are gonna let these uh, credits play through because as i said all of these people spent so much time making this game that we we should really just just take a moment and have a look oh wow it had a board of directors business development marketing the, the marketing sorry the, these are not <laughs> not the normal credits that we see at this point like uh team and culture it back catalog like it what 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 type of it director do you need for a gaming company surely you need programmers and then like maybe someone to run the website i i, I don't know finance and legal this this company is a lot bigger than I thought. Other great collaborators available for us to uh, praise, to shower adulations down upon a pound. Uh, we've got the voice recording, the UK side. Okay, that's cool. We've got the cast. Daisy May, Jason Buchanan doing the main shots there. Beautiful. Translators, of course. Look at all the different languages. Brazilian, Portuguese, French, German. Uh, I didn't get to read them all, but that is quite a lot. A whole crew for the Chinese translation. I can't imagine, actually. I can't imagine that would be pretty awkward. But as always, with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where I think we're playing some Star Wars. You want, you want to go back to, to see what Cal Kestis is up to? I sure do. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.